pH and pOH calculations. The objective of this video is to learn how to go from hydronium concentration to pH to pOH to hydroxide concentration and back. Keep in mind that H3O plus in brackets or hydronium represents the acid concentration of a substance and OH minus in brackets or hydroxide represents the base concentration of a substance. Additionally, H3O plus or hydronium is sometimes represented by H plus aqueous. Under previous scientific misconceptions, however, this is still considered correct because the AQ insinuates the presence of water. What is pH? pH stands for the power of hydronium, or H3O+, which means the concentration of hydronium ions in a solution. pH also means the strength of the acid or base character of a substance, and it is mathematically defined as pH equals negative log of H3O+. What is pOH? pOH is very similar to pH, but it represents the power of hydroxide, or OH, which means the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution. It is mathematically defined as pOH equals negative log OH. What is the relationship between pH and pOH? In chemistry, we use two scales to measure the acidity or the basic nature of a substance. The first scale you're already probably familiar with and is called the pH scale. The pH scale varies from 0 to 14 and is where 0 is a strong acid and where 14 is a weak acid. The pOH scale is the pH scale alter ego and it varies from 0 to 14 as well. However, zero is a strong base and 14 is a weak base. As you can see, both of these scales are centered around water, which is neutral at the number seven. What does water have to do with it? Water has the power to release protons to form OH or to accept protons to form H3O plus or hydronium. Some more formulas to memorize are that mathematically, OH is represented by 10 to the negative pOH. Hydronium is represented by 10 to the negative pH. Additionally, the pH plus the pOH of any given substance will always equal 14. Example 1. Calculate the pOH of sodium hydroxide given the hydroxide ion concentration is 3 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter. The first thing that we need to recognize is in this problem is that we are looking for pOH and we have the value for the OH. And looking back at my formulas, I can see that the mathematical definition of pOH will give me the answer I desire. Now it's simply a matter of substituting the OH value into the formula. Once I enter this into my calculator, I'll get a value of 1.522878, and the list continues. However, we only have two significant digits in the question, therefore we can only have two significant digits in the answer. The value that comes before the decimal in pH does not count as a significant digit. Only the values that come after count as significant digits. Therefore, we should have an answer of 1.52. Example 2. Calculate the hydronium ion concentration of hydrochloric acid with a pH of 1.20. The first thing that we need to recognize in this problem is that we are looking for the hydronium ion concentration and we have the pH. We can see that the mathematical definition for H3O plus equals 10 to the negative pH. Now it's simply a matter of substituting in the formula. When I type this into my calculator, I get an answer of 6.3 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter. Again, 
We want two significant digits because there are two significant digits in the question. Example 3. Calculate the hydroxide ion concentration of 1.2 times 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter of sulfuric acid. This is most definitely the most challenging problem we've looked at so far because it requires us to go from hydronium concentration using the formula pH equals negative log H3O plus to pH. From pH, we need to use the formula pOH equals 14 minus pH to get us to pOH. From pOH, we need to use the formula OH minus equals 10 to the negative pOH to get us to OH, which is our end goal. Now, I've simplified the problem to represent what we're looking for and to show what we have. The one thing to remember when you are looking at molar concentrations in a problem like this is that whenever they are referring to H3O+, the substance you're dealing with is going to be an acid. And whenever they're referring to the OH- concentration, the substance that you're dealing with is going to be a base. In this case, the substance we're dealing with is sulfuric acid, which therefore means that we are dealing with H3O+. Now, the first thing that we need to do, as we saw in our map, was we need to go from H3O plus to pH. We substitute, we get the answer of 1.92082. Now, we're going to keep all of the digits of this equation, and as we know, to go from pH to pOH, we need to subtract 14 from pH. Keeping all the digits in my calculator, I subtract 1.9208, the value of approximately 12.079. Now that we have our pOH, we can move on to our next step, which is determining the OH. 10 to the negative 12.079, again, keeping all my digits, is equal to 8.33, repeating, times 10 to the negative 13 moles per liter. That should give us a final answer of 8.3 times 10 to the negative 13 moles per liter.